This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 621, Workout Recovery, It's Actually Very Simple, by Ben Pavlik with romanfitnesssystems.com, and I'm Dr. Neil. Hey there, welcome to December, and a very happy Hanukkah if you're celebrating, and a very happy Monday to you. Welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I act as your narrator of the best health and fitness blogs, all for free. I cover fitness, nutrition, stress management, weight management, and lots more kind of like an ongoing audiobook, but from a bunch of different authors. And then on Fridays, I answer your questions right here on the show. And a very big thank you to Audible for their support. I am obsessed with Audible. I use it all the time and ask for a renewal for Christmas pretty much every year. And right now, for a limited time, you can get three months of Audible for just six ninety five dollars a month. That's more than half off the regular price. Give yourself the gift of listening. And while you're at it, think about giving the gift of Audible to someone on your list. It's always a great gift. Trust me, I love getting Audible as a gift. Just go to audible.com slash OHD or text OHD to 500-500. That's A-U-D-I-B-L-E dot com slash OHD or text OHD to 500-500. And since the holiday season is in full swing, I thought I'd do something a little different over the next, oh, let's say 22 days. I'm kind of a trivia nerd, so I thought every day between now and Christmas Day, I would give you one piece of holiday trivia. And since we were just talking about wish lists, it always makes me think of Santa Claus. Now, Santa Claus is supposedly based on a real person, St. Nicholas. And it was believed that St. Nicholas, or good old St. Nick, was born not in the US, not in Russia, but can you guess which country? The country of Turkey. See, since I'm a huge trivia nerd, I find that kind of stuff fascinating. And again, I'll have a new piece of holiday trivia for you for the next, oh, 22 days or so. But for now, let's get right to today's post and start optimizing your life. Workout recovery. It's actually very simple. By Ben Pavlik with romanfitnesssystems.com. There are many things to consider beyond the time you spend in the gym when trying to maximize your workouts. Let's say you spend 60 minutes in a gym four times a week. What about the other 23 hours of the day? Your workout is the catalyst to changing your body, but it's the quality of your recovery process that'll ensure you keep improving. Let's take a closer look at the best post-workout recovery tips. Tip number one, get enough quality sleep. When it comes to the importance of sleep, There are no myths or exaggerations. The majority of healing and regeneration happen when we sleep. We spend a third of our lives sleeping. If that doesn't dictate the importance of sleep to you, maybe some other facts will. Getting a good night's rest is essential even for people who don't train. But for fitness enthusiasts, the need is even higher because our bodies are under more stress. Your muscle builds and repairs during your sleep. So does your brain and every other cell that makes up your body. Interrupted or poor quality sleep can impede your fitness goals significantly by slowing down the fat burn, impeding your workouts, and increasing overall fatigue. Quality sleep boosts every function of the mind and body and sets you up for the next day ahead, recharged and revitalized. If for nothing else, quality sleep keeps your hormones and mood in the right place. Tip, consider buying a quality mattress. It's one of the best investments you can make for your body. Tip number two, nutrition. The next most important thing that helps you recover after a workout is nutrition. If your body is an engine, then your food is your fuel to run efficiently. Without proper attention to your diet, your training efforts will be futile. If you aren't getting enough protein, fats, or carbohydrates, then your body can suffer in many ways, and you will witness an impaired immune system, among other problems. A lack of protein will lead to impaired muscle gains. A lack of fat can disrupt your hormonal balance. And a lack of carbohydrates means you are depriving the body of its preferred source of energy. We all have a basal metabolic rate, which is measured by how many calories we burn individually in a 24-hour period. Once you have worked this out, you need to work out how many calories you need for your specific goals compared to how many you burn. Tip number three, stay hydrated. Drinking enough fluids is possibly one of the most neglected areas of a fitness regime. 
Hydration is important because water helps with the digestion of the food and transport of nutrients around the body. Remember, your body is made up of 70% water. Lack of hydration can lead to fatigue, excess fluid retention, and loss of strength. Tip, a popular method to combat dehydration is to drink from a measured container each day so that by the end of the day, when you've consumed the fluid in your container, you know for sure that you've reached your target intake for that day. Tip number four, stretch. I know, I know, you know this, but then why aren't you doing it? There are a lot of myths when it comes to stretching and how it actually helps with recovery. The main goal is to apply force on a muscle to improve the range of motion, decrease stiffness, and improve recovery or aid in the preparation for physical activity. Stretching after your workout helps realign your muscles back to their original state and therefore decreases the risk of stiffness in the days to come. While there are a lot of conflicting studies on when is the best time to do each stretch, your recovery will go much better if you add stretching as part of your training plan. Tip number five, active recovery. Active recovery is great for people who just can't keep themselves out of the gym. This type of physical activity is less about intensity and more about bringing your body back to optimal performance. Light cardio or weight sessions have a lot of therapeutic effects on your nervous system. It may include anything from taking a walk to being active in, yes, the bedroom. Tip number six, get a massage. When done correctly, massage therapy can have significant benefits on your recovery from a workout. For the best results, it's recommended to get them on a regular basis. But even after one massage, you can expect a reduction in inflammation, improved blood circulation, and release of any tightness. The more you train, the more beneficial massage therapy will be for you. A deep tissue sports massage can alleviate problems you weren't even aware you had. That is why it's the best type of massage to help recover from a workout. Of course, there are less extreme types of massage available that are more comfortable and will still enhance your recovery after a workout. Tip number seven, sweat it out. A sauna can also temporarily relieve pain and help you relax after a workout. It doesn't matter whether you try a traditional Finnish steam sauna or a dry infrared sauna. There are many sauna health benefits and both types will help you with the recovery from your sore muscles. It is very important though to stay hydrated and drink more fluid than normal when you use a sauna. Otherwise, you can run the risk of heat exhaustion and impede your overall performance. Tip number eight, cold water. Another great way to prevent sore muscles is through contrast water therapy. The idea is very simple. Switch between hot and cold water repeatedly during your shower or bath. Similarly to massages and saunas, this may improve blood circulation, prevent muscle soreness, and can benefit your immune system. It's all very simple. Recovery is an essential part of every fitness and workout routine. If it sounds complicated, just remember that it all comes down to one thing, listening to your body. As you keep moving forward, you will find out what recovery methods work the best for you. You just listened to the post titled, Workout Recovery. It's actually very simple. By Ben Pavlik with romanfitnesssystems.com. And a big thank you again to Audible. It's that time of year when everyone is thinking about thoughtful gifts. So how about an Audible membership? Access an unbeatable selection of audiobooks. You can choose three titles every month, one audiobook and two Audible originals that you can't hear anywhere else. In fact, one of the books I just finished listening to on Audible was The Lost Art of Listening by Michael P. Nichols, PhD. I actually pulled quotes from that book as inspirational quotes a couple of weeks ago. In fact, I enjoyed the book so much, I'm keeping it on my phone. And right now, for a limited time, you can get three months of Audible for just $6.95 a month. That's more than half off the regular price. Give yourself the gift of listening. And while you're at it, think about giving the gift of Audible to someone on your list. I love getting it as a gift and I ask for it every year. Just go to audible.com slash OHD or text OHD to 500-500. That's A-U-D-I-B-L-E dot com slash OHD or text OHD to 500-500. Dr. Neil again here just a few of my comments with regards to what I just read. With regards to tip number one, quality sleep. I completely agree, 
quality is super important. We not only want to think about how long we're asleep, but when we think about those hours that we are asleep, were we getting that restful, deep, restorative sleep? That's super important. And tip number four was stretching. I do not enjoy stretching, I'll be honest, but I force myself to do it. The latest research seems to show that stretching after your workout seems to present the least risk for injury. And we're also finding that stretching after your workout may help improve recovery time. What we're finding is that stretching may release those byproducts of that stress that your muscles just went through. They're called catecholamines. It may flush those catecholamines out of your body, which means you'll be less sore the next day. Tip number five was about active recovery. Completely agree. The last thing you wanna do when you're sore the next day after a workout is to just sit in bed and say, I can't move, I'm so sore. Better to get up and move a little bit. Use those same muscles, the muscles that are feeling sore. Work those a little bit, but gently, lightly. Don't complete an intense workout, but just move those muscles a little bit. The advantage to doing this is bringing blood that's rich in oxygen and nutrients to those muscles, which will help repair them faster. I'm a huge fan of tip number six, getting massages regularly. And I find that I sleep better when I get massages too. And again, don't feel like you have to try all of these tips all at once. Pick one that stands out to you and do that consistently. And when you feel comfortable with that, try adding in a new tip. All right, I think I've gone way over my time. So I'm gonna stop talking for today. I hope you have a great rest of your Monday. Again, a very happy Hanukkah for those celebrating. And I'll be back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.